Oh, no, we are already cyborgs um, when you think about the fact that your phone and your computer are an extension of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and probably, you know, I think most people, if you forget your phone somewhere, it's like having missing limb syndrome, yes. you know? And then you're like sort of patting your pockets, and it's like the phone is basically an extension of yourself. So starting with, you don't know anybody's phone number anymore. Yes. Right. Exactly. I, yeah. I had this like <laughs> nightmare, like where I was <laughs> stuck at a party and someone else had taken my phone, and 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 so I had their phone, but I couldn't use it. And <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they were like, "So, well, who, well, who should we call?" I'm like, "I don't know anyone's number." <laughs> <laughs> so Neuralink. So, so you, you don't even know who to call. Yeah. Or, or how, how do you? It's supposed to happen to. It must happen a lot. You know, it's like. You don't know anyone's number, and you have, they've got your phone, and you, you, you can't call whatever, an Uber or anything, um, and uh, you're just stuck. <laughs> so I like that idea of increasing the bandwidth between the computer assistant and the brain, but apparently we also need a safety lock to make sure we don't lose the computer in the process. Elon, 